I am going to teach you how to be the best trip sitter ever. We all know that psychedelics are powerful tools in accessing deeper levels of reality and deeper states of consciousness. As numerous surveys have shown, a powerful psychedelic trip is often one of the most significant experiences in a person's life because it opens them up to and reunites them with the sacred unity that encompasses the entire universe. This experience that the tripper is about to go through could be completely life-changing for them. They might even want to change their entire life path after the experience. But also, on the other hand, maybe not much will happen for them at all. But whatever the case may be, your job as the trip sitter is to provide the user with the most ideal space possible in order to have this powerful and potentially life-changing experience. And just a heads up, this video is going to be more oriented towards situations in which the user is intending to obtain some sort of benefit out of the experience rather than just tripping for fun. We will be going over what you should do before the trip, during the trip, and after the trip as a trip sitter. So firstly, and I know this is mentioned a lot, but it needs to be said. But perhaps the most important thing is mindset of both you, the trip sitter, and also the tripper. Be wary of the mental state the tripper is in before they embark on their psychedelic voyage. Make sure they are calm, ready to go, and have as little as possible nagging at their subconscious. If they are going through a major trauma and have been feeling really sad recently or something, it might not be the best idea for them to trip, because typically any emotions brought into a psychedelic trip tend to be elevated during the experience, so that sadness they felt before the trip could potentially turn into existential despair. In addition to the tripper feeling calm and collected before they enter the experience, you must also be in a good state of mind as well. While one is under the influence of psychedelics, they are a vibe magnet. So if you are not radiating good vibes, you are not helping them on their trip. And psychedelic pioneers Timothy Leary and Ram Das actually found that after reviewing reports of hundreds of sessions, that when the trip sitter or guide comes upset and or uncertain, the tripper almost always becomes distressed as well. So definitely take that knowledge into account. And I know this is obvious, but you must also identify the substance and the dose the tripper is taking and understand what the effects are at each dose. It will be a lot easier to be a trip sitter if you yourself have experience with psychedelics. But if not, you will definitely want to know the effects of different substances at different doses. And I have plenty of videos on that, which I will leave links in the description to if you would like to look at those. If it's a short 15 minute DMT trip, you will not have to set much time away for the trip. But if it is a longer, several hour experience such as LSD or mushrooms, the user will need a safe space for the trip for virtually the entire day. And also one of the most important, if not the most important factor to take into account beforehand is setting. And I know you have probably heard that many times, but it genuinely needs to be mentioned. When the tripper is looking to go deep within their own mind, they need a nice, quiet space in which they are not worrying about their safety. If safety is at all a concern, do not let the user trip. This will set them up for a bad time. If there are a lot of distractions around like people talking, they will likely not be able to reach a headspace as deep as they otherwise would. Ideally, you will want a nice and comfy couch or bed for the tripper to lay on during the duration of their experience. If you are outdoors, you should be in nature in a place where there are not many people, and I would also recommend not allowing the tripper to venture into the high dose territory when they are outdoors. Lastly, some final things you could help the tripper do before the trip in order to guide the experience in the best way possible is to have them ask themselves what they want to get out of the experience. Have them contemplate this or have them write down a few questions on a piece of paper beforehand so that they can turn to it if they get sidetracked during the experience. Another thing that could help them is to have a collection of calm and peaceful music to play in the background. Remember, they are a vibe magnet, so if the soundscape is calm and peaceful, there's a good chance that will leak into their trip and allow them to have a positive experience. And lastly, give them this piece of advice before the trip. Just trust me. Tell them to trust the experience, accept what it has to show them, and to always let go. All right, so if all is going well, you barely will have to do anything at all while the user is tripping. All you'll have to do is keep an eye over them. You want to interfere as little as possible with a tripper because this is their personal journey. So I strongly encourage you to not project 
any of your personal philosophies and or beliefs onto them at all during the experience, as it will only distract the user. And in fact, I encourage you to talk to the user as little as possible during their trip. The tripper is able to go into the deepest recesses of their mind when they have no other distractions. So as a trip sitter, you should be giving them that space. You are there to guide the tripper in the most wholesome way possible and really should only intervene when necessary. If the tripper is going through a difficult moment in the experience, assure them that it is a normal thing for them to be going through and it will pass. On a psychedelic experience, one may be perceiving a web of repressed memories, desires, and insecurities. And the natural reaction for this is for the user to feel overwhelmed, confused, or even frightened. Assure them that it is normal, it happens to all people who take psychedelics, and it will pass. On the very low chance that the tripper becomes extremely distressed and begins to lose control of their actions and even becomes threatening, you must not lose your calm and collected composure. When you begin to mirror the tripper's distress, the chance that they will snap out of it is very low. Remember, the tripper is a vibe magnet, so as a trip sitter, if you want to turn their difficult trip around, you must maintain kindness, love, and compassion. On the off chance that all else fails and the tripper actually becomes dangerous, and the chance of this happening is extremely low, but it can happen, you need to be prepared to call help. In 99.9% .9 of cases, this will not be a concern, but it is something you need to be wary of, and if you as the trip sitter do not have confidence that you can deal with these situations that arise, well you shouldn't be trip sitting at all. And when it comes to after the experience, one of the first things I would recommend you to do after the tripper has come down is to have them write down a few of their key realizations and insights from the experience. Because a psychedelic trip is kind of like a dream in a sense, because you forget a lot of it after you're out of it. So just as a dream journal allows one to remember their dreams more, writing down what happened during one's trip allows them to remember their insights more. If the tripper is open to it, having a conversation with them about their experience could be very beneficial, especially if you yourself have a decent amount of experience with psychedelics. But again, do not try to fill the tripper's interpretation of their experience with your philosophies and beliefs. Let them come to their own conclusions and ask them open-ended questions. If the tripper saw some really dark, deep, and personal shit during the trip, they might not want to talk about it, so don't press them. If they had a bad and difficult trip and are left rattled, check up with them the next day to see if they're doing all right, because having a person like you who is loving, kind, and compassionate, and is understanding of what they are going through, is definitely going to help them. Alright, so let's do a rough recap. Before the trip, you want to identify the substance and the dose the tripper is taking, you want to have a nice, quiet, and safe space set up beforehand, and you want to make sure both you and the tripper are in a calm and collected state of mind beforehand. But during the trip, you are just there to make sure nothing goes wrong and to maintain an environment that supports the inner quiet of the tripper and you also need to be ready to take action if shit gets out of hand. And after the trip, you're just there for support and helping the person integrate their experience. That's basically it guys, that's all I got for this video. I would appreciate it if you liked and commented for that algorithm boost, and if you wish to support my work on a deeper level, I do have a Patreon, link is in the description for that. And as always guys, have a great day and peace.